welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming back to me. I appreciate you. Before we get into the film reaction, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell and remember that by being a patron over on Patreon, the highest tier, that's the platinum, honey, tier gets to make a film reaction request every month and the other beautiful tiers participate in the polls that we have coming up monthly so there are polls that come up and there are also benefits every single tier i want you to know that every tier gets a reaction of some sort right it depends on the amount of reactions that they get so the first tier to the highest tier they all get reactions but the first one might get a few a month the second one might get more the third one gets all the reactions and the fourth tier gets to make a film request, right? In addition to other benefits. So <laughs> I look forward to having you guys over there. For those who are unable to subscribe or come over to Patreon, please know that by subscribing to this channel, you are amazing. You're being very supportive. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to, okay, last month I put out a poll. I, do, I try to do this every other month, I put up a poll in the community and everyone gets to put out what they want me to watch. Well, the poll question goes like, put out a video that you would like me to do a reaction to. Everyone gets to see it. You can imagine. So that's a lot of, but everyone gets to see it. Everyone gets to like the other comments. So if you like someone's suggestion, don't put the suggestion over again. Just go like their own and like, 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 like. The one with the highest amount of likes will be done the following month. So in June... I put up that poll question. Everyone put up the movie they want. Apparently, people wanted me to watch a movie called Ever After. Um, leading actress Drew Barrymore, who I know, who I know. So they wanted me to watch this, and that was the one that got the amount, the highest amount of likes. I think I should change my hairband because I remember Cinderella had this blue choker thingy and hairband. Let me see if I have a blue one. Let me go see. Hold on. So they're gonna vote. <laughs> I'm gonna see which one looks better. Hmm. Okay. I'm not, I'm loving this. What is that? How do you think? I think this is it. I think this is perfect for the white one. And I think the blue one. I think the blue one looks good. Do I have a blue choker? <laughs> I know Cinderella's color is blue, kind of blue, from the cartoon. Oh, I've got a blue one. I've got a blue one. I hope it looks good. I've got a blue choker. Oh. See? Ooh. Oh, the thing. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a moment. A lady's got to adjust herself. Ooh, so tell me what you think in the comment section, please. You know, people, you guys don't know, I like to come here presentable to you guys because it matters. It matters to me. I want you to know that I, I, <laughs> I try to put up a good appearance, my best foot forward, my best head face forward. So when you do go into the comment section, you say, oh, Kemi, you look so nice. It really makes my day. So, you know. I know people are like, oh, you don't need makeup. You don't. I like it. Please tell me if I look pretty. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Oh, I think it came out really well. My nose is so shiny. Sorry, I've got, I've got an oily T zone. Most of the times, if you notice, I just go down around my nose. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you to everyone who voted. And I'll be putting up another one next month. All right, let's get into Ever After, a Cinderella story from 1998. Good day, gentlemen. Brothers Grimm. Thank you. I suppose you're wondering why anyone my age would request an audience with the authors of children's stories. I was terribly disturbed. 
when I read your version of the little cinder girl. Magic pumpkins would be closer to the truth. Some claims that shoe was made of fur. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Might I inquire about the painting? Perhaps you will allow me to set the record straight? Yes, please. Well, then it's true. Well, the story. Who loved our father very much. Stop it right now. What is that phrase you use to tell a story? To Because she was going to tell them the story. One second. I love the sound. Oh. <laughs> I love the sound. I don't know any of these actors. Maybe I know them by face, but I don't know the names they're showing. I get a mother and sisters all in one day. Yes, it's going to be very exciting round here. What with the Baroness and all? Oh, hold! Bring up the child on his own. Oh, she must be lovely. Gustav, I told you, not today. You look like a girl. That's what I am, half wit. Yeah, but today you look it. Boy and <laughs> girl, I can still whip you. Ha! Oh my God! So you look like a girl. Stop it. <laughs> I would like to be in a movie like this. Just sitting somewhere. I seem to be missing a daughter. This is a, yes, this is the stepsisters, remember? In the storybook, there are two. Oh, look at you, just as I left. I wait your friend Gustav is around here someplace. No, sir. I slaughtered him. You the Baroness brought me the Gant and her huh? daughters, Marguerite and Jacqueline. I didn't hear the names of the daughters. I think I know this actor, the face of this one. Where? We've been two peas in a pot, you and I, for a long time. I suppose this will take some getting used to. Because I have to go to Avignon in a fortnight. The Texas. <laughs> I've never seen so many gloomy faces around here. Perhaps by then the three of you and I've got to know each other better. Huh? The Baroness isn't used to getting her hands dirty. Oh my god. Oh my god. See it. Maurice. See, see what he did. That thing with his hand. Heart attack, stroke, all these things. All these things. You see, he did that thing with his hands. Wait! It's tradition. He always waves at the gate. Oh, okay, you see what I said? Oh my god, this is the part I hate. I hate it when the story. Oh my god. I know he dies because the question was like, she, her father died, but I didn't. Ah, they didn't show. Mm. It didn't show us how he died in the storybook. You know what I mean? That's what the, the oh my god, he died. <laughs> oh, goodness. you cannot. I'm surprised to actually see the stepmother cry. You know what I mean? Because in the I'm surprised to see her emotional. Before another man would enter her life. Cannot grow in the shadow of a mighty oak, Francis. He needs sun. Can't this wait till morning? If I can't sleep, neither shall he. Yeah! It's okay, oh yeah. You know what I was saying? I was surprised to see the stepmother is so emotional because the stories made it seem like she even well, i don't know did they tell us how the dad died no so seeing her cry and there was a telling moment where she looked at danielle that's what they call her here danielle da, 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 da. they he she looked at her when the father was about to die he held her by the face like his affections wasn't went towards the wife. It was more like, "Oh my daughter, I'm dying. I'm so you know, I love you." These are the last words, and the stepmother sort of looked at 
Cinderella in a very like, oh my God, he's dying and he's thinking of this girl. It will build up that resentment, making her feel like, mm. so I like how realistic they made, made it seem because that is enough to, not for a child, it's not good to be angry with children, but you know what I mean. I'm not very familiar with Drew Barrymore's work as an actress, but I know her from E.T. and... You slipped his shoe and I have no choice! And our choice is what? Wait! Ow! Purple. Royalty. That must be the... yeah. That must be the prince. Forgive me, your highness. I did not see you. Of my gilded cage for your silence so was it the beeb that the thing he wore because he touched it that made her him say prince or is the colored purple eggs and we're in god's name is our bread it's just coming out the oven my lady what do i always say about home a lady of breeding ought never to raise her voice any louder than the gentle hum of a whispering wind Jacqueline, dear, do not speak unless you can improve the silence. I was not shrill. I was resonant. A courtier knows the difference. Damn you! I thought you said no voice of the silence of a whisper. Tabby, you said that. A rise in the east. Yes, Louise, it did. And it is going to be a beautiful day. Oh, look at all those feathers! Certainly bring him home. The court will have to let him go. But the king has sold him to Tarchi. Well, these coins are as good as hers. He's my grease I fell off again. the ladder in the orchard, but I am better now. Some... Mm, that was harsh, Marguerite. Danielle, come here, Marguerite child. Marguerite blonde. Marguerite is the blonde, then Jacqueline is the brunette. Sometimes I sit on my own and try to think of what else I could do. Perhaps if we brought back Maurice, I would not offend you so. It is your manner that we should have no more talk of servants coming back. Is that quite understood? Maurice, yes, he's the man. The one who gave the whip to the father. After all I have done is never Remember, enough. I was thinking of Maurice, 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 Maurice. I ruined Oh, no. God, please. Oh, please, sir, for the love of God, the painting. That, that man there, he's getting away. Oh, please, sir. It is my life. I don't know, I think I've seen a scene where people fall off like this. I don't know why, it looks so familiar to me. You know what I mean, where people run and they just fall off. No, too small. Needs to draw some attention. Uh, I fear, Baroness, anything larger might make her fall over. You do the same for me, admit it. Oh, that's the little boy she be. Pretend to be a courtier. Prancing around like some nobleman. Why, I've never ever been to court. They'll never buy a servant with 20 gold francs either. I am Maurice's only hope. Mm. And the Baroness, what do you tell her? And still pretends to have money to burn. The shoes are too big. If you're going to be a noblewoman, you, you must play the part. And clean your face. Is that still nice dress? You're not a servant. This is your father's house. That is what irks me. You know, that was her father's house. Don't let me shout at these people. Her father's house. And they made her a servant. Well, I suppose it's because I lack conviction. Oh, you seem to have it in spades. Besides, you claimed it was a matter of life and death. A woman always is. Oh, Mona Lisa. 
Oh. She laughs at me, sir, so as if she knows something artist? I do not. Signor da Vinci has been invited to the palace as the artist in residence. Ah, yes. Oh. Here I am on my way to Genoa and I find my salvation on the highways. Prince Henry suffers from an arranged marriage, Signora. Oh, your highness. A... I'm returning your horse, Baroness. Yeah. Was it missing? Really? She's mute. She spoke quite yeah. forcefully. Well, it she comes and goes. But as always, your highness is welcome to anything he wishes. Your Highness. Ladies, forgive me, but you seem to have blossomed overnight. Several new developments with regards to Spain. Look at Marguerite. Look at her face. Hey. This old the thing. You are too kind. Huh? Well, what is behind the brooch? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That brooch. <laughs> oh, why do men like boobs so much? Like, seriously, what is it about boobs? <laughs> but you didn't have like a necklace or jewelry or anything on your neck. That's the only thing I notice others have that you don't have. But is she? I don't know. Oh, see, see. Her father's servant since she was a child. I can pay you 20 gold francs. Madam, you can have me for 20 gold francs. Now drive on! He's now the property of Cartier. He is not property at all, you ill mannered tub of guts. Do you honestly think it right to chain people like Chattel? I demand you release him at once. Get out of my way! You dare raise your voice to a lady, sir? Your Highness, for, forgive me, sire. Uh, I, I meant no disrespect. Uh, it's just... Uh, I'm following you orders here. Nice My job to take these criminals and thieves to the coast. If you suffer your people to be ill-educated and their manners mm. corrupted from infancy and then punish mm. them for those crimes to which their first education disposed them, what mm. else is to be concluded, sire, but that you first make thieves and then punish them? Mm. You make them and you punish them. You don't give them the proper education to be independent and have a good job to provide for themselves. But sire... I said... Release him. <sighs> he thought I was looking at your mother. He took the money still. He shouldn't have given the money. The king, the prince has... Thank you, Your Highness. See, see, see. Da Vinci looked at her feet. Da Vinci looked at her feet. The friend said nobody looks at your feet. Okay. I'm I swore I knew every courtier in the province. Yes, uh -huh. you said that. Which one? This is the only looking. one I have, sire. Well, then pray. Tell me your cousin's name so that I might call upon her to learn who you are. For well, anyone who can quote Thomas More is well worth the effort. I gather you do not converse with many peasants. <laughs> Certainly not, no. Naturally. Excuse me, sire, but there is nothing natural about it. They are the legs you stand on, and that position demands respect. Not... Am I to understand that you find me arrogant? Please, I beg of you. A name. I, I fear that the only name to leave you with is Comtesse Nicole de Lancre. That wasn't so hard. You're bad. He usually does. Oh, I should be right here. He's like, oh, a Contest Nicole. Don't cry. Is that her husband? Don't let me cry now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is, oh, what a great friend. Maybe this is his wife, and then they're all friends, but this is his wife, right? 
Imagine the cruelty of selling an old man. Where do you want him to go? Where do you want him to work? Like, people are just heartless in this world. What a witch that was. You, sir, are restricted to the grounds. Are you putting me under house arrest? Do not mock me, boy, for I am in a foul disposition. And I will have my way. Or what? You are the crown prince of France. And it is my life. Francis, sit down before you have a stroke. Really, the two of you. Sweetheart. Marriage to a complete stranger never made anyone in this room very happy. I will simply deny you the crown and live forever. He's your son. Look at what he told his parents. Marry, marrying something never made anyone happy. Trouble. What do you mean? You stupid, <gasps> stupid girl. <laughs> How dare you do this to me, to Marguerite? Why, the whole thing makes me sick. It's deceitfulness, Danielle, and I will not have it in this house. Prince Henry stole our horse this morning. Yes, and that would explain why he returned it this afternoon. I, I called him a thief, madam. We must work extra hard to make sure the manor is spotless. We cannot have a royal bottom sitting on a dirty chaise, now can we? No. Go catch a chicken. Actually, I don't know who her cousin is. <laughs> Surely you have heard of her. Oh, darling. There are simply too many courtiers to remember them all by name. In honor of Signor da Vinci, I have decided to throw a ball. A master ball. At which point you and I will strike a compromise. For five days hence, at the stroke of midnight, you will announce your engagement to the girl of your choice, or... Divorce is only something they do in England. Rumour has it he must find himself a bride before that very night. His agenda? And any other tidbits you might pick up? I've grown rather fond of our intrigues together. Surely you must know that. Was that I've given anything <laughs> to see you all dressed... Was that a kiss? <laughs> this woman is... Darling, he's royalty. They're Her born like that. Nicole. The only throne I want her sitting on is the one I have to clean every day. I cannot breathe as it is. If one cannot breathe, one cannot eat. But we must speak of this to no one. Oh, I do love a good intrigue. Perfect. Mother, if that dress is hers, perhaps she'll want to wear it to the ball. Since when does a royal function include commoners? Well, never. But she is our stepsister, and the invitation did say to the ladies she of the is house... She's not of noble blood. And besides, who would notice? No one. What are you doing? Oh, oh. To go to a mask. Mm. Of course. I only meant... I thought we could all go as one big happy family. Mm. She doesn't want you to go. And if you do find them, are they really the one for you, or do you only think they are? Then what happens if the person you're supposed to be with never appears, or, or she does, but... Or perchance you meet someone new and marry all over again. Is that the lady you're supposed to be with, or was it the first? And is everything just chance, or... Are some things meant to be? So they had, she had a dowry that in case she got married, that's Danielle, she would have something to wear to her wedding. So that woman, which kept this dowry and now wants one of her daughters to wear it. Can you believe that? Wants one of her daughters to wear like her wedding gift, you know, maybe something her father kept for her or her mother kept for her. You know, because those days, inheritance, although like they said, it's out of style, but it could be vintage. You know how certain styles come back in fashion because they're timeless pieces. That dress could have been a timeless piece. Yeah, there's some jackets that my mom had that I can wear now. Mm -hmm. It looks like rain. She was walking on water with a shoe. I should thing. leave walking on water to the Son of God. Walk. Very slippery right there. Yeah, please. Allow me. Uh, take the thing. Eh, yeah, take it from her. Yeah. A day off? From what? Life? 
Don't you ever tire of having... Well, yes, if you must know. Why? Because you are trying to beat me with your snobbery. Well, first I'm arrogant, and now I have no pride. However do I manage that? You have everything, and still the world holds no joy. And yet you insist on making fun of those who would see it for its possibilities. Why do you like to irritate me so? Why do you rise to the occasion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing tennis tomorrow with the Marquis de Limoges. Will, will you come? I must go. I can hardly see our plates. They're missing, my lady. I've searched high and low. I should just garnish your wages until the pilfered items are returned. To the king and asked him to release all those men. He didn't. Mm. Now, by... There must have been ten courtiers speaking of her today and how the prince fell all over himself. Oh, we shall find out who she is and bury her. <laughs> like what they call it, um, like so that you know the ladies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they put their hanky. <laughs> oh, you're looking well, Marguerite. You're welcome to look, Your Highness. Damn, Marguerite! <laughs> the girl is a player. <laughs> no, we have to admire her hustle. Like, you're welcome to. I should use that line. I should use that line somewhere. Let me see where my husband is. <laughs> You're welcome to look. You're welcome to look, honey. <laughs> Danielle de Barbarac, poorly tended. We have limited resources, sir. We do the best we can. Anything I can do. Well, perhaps you should bring it up with the Baroness. I may be twice your age, child. But I'm well endowed, and I need a young lady with spirit. Prince? Oh. I'd be very, very careful if I were you. Your voice and everything, it makes me sick. Sir, Le Pew. Like... Horrible man! Oh, if he didn't buy a bushel of vegetables every week, I'd spit on him. Uh, me too, I vomit. He sounds very yucky. Le Pew. To pew. his name is the pew, the pew, pew. Did anything so delicious? What is it? Stop it, Marguerite. What is your problem? Easy. You want him to feed the oh, his texture? Don't even think about it. Uh, like it. What's it called? Uh, chocolate. The oh, Spanish okay. monks keep. Day, ladies. Oh, He's seen her. She's running. Were there just the two of you? Yes. Well, I'm the chicken, your highness. My mother was hard on me too, you know. She taught me that cleanliness was next to godliness. Baroness, that is broke. Well, we must never feel sorry for ourselves, must we? No matter how bad things get, they can always get worse. You have so much of your father in you. Sometimes I can almost see him looking out through your eyes. Your features are so masculine. She was just really. No wonder you're built for hard labor. Ah, you're the devil. I thought I saw you tear up just a moment ago. I thought you did. I would say yes. I barely knew him. Pause. Let's pause here for a moment. That's just like I, I'm. There are so many mixed signals, but I, what, I don't think they're mixed signals. As she, she's fighting not to feel the things that she wants to feel. She's fighting her feelings. The mother, the witch. So I keep calling her a witch because of the Baroness. So. Um, in this moment, we see a small insight as to who she is and how she was she grew she was raised. The Baroness, the Baroness obviously didn't have a good relationship with her mother. She was saying something about her mother not being satisfied with whatever she did. Told her to wash her face twenty times a day. That sort of, you know, 
controlling influence hovering over her life consistently will definitely definitely ruin their relationship like who wants a mother who is constantly seeing everything you're doing as bad negative you know just hateful condescending that sort of thing that emotion is what she's transferred that aggression you can see there's even a difference it's not even only it's not only Danielle that she's treating bad. She treats the brunette, Jacqueline. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Jacqueline, even bad. She treats that one bad. I say, I was saying that I've recognized that girl's face before. The Last of Us. I kept looking at her. I was like, I remember. I remember looking at her face. This this movie is very okay. So now she she the mother, this one. The Baroness treats that Jacqueline so poorly, making fun of her weight, oh, uh, don't eat, the dress doesn't fit. She's like, so starve yourself. You can see the prince wants to give uh, Marguerite, the blonde one, the um, chocolate. And Danielle is like, eh, no, Jacqueline is like, hey, let me go take a bite for myself. She's not interested in the prince in that sense, but she's just trying to be part of the family, be part of what's going on. Because she has inside you, she knows that the mother is trying to get one of her daughters to marry, not even one of her daughters, she's more focused on Marguerite marrying the prince. But she wants to have fun. She's like, let me try and be part of these people. Did the whole thing. She's a, she's like the comic relief in the movie. Trying to have the chocolate, the mother's like not elbowing her back. He's, that that ends the tale for, for that side. So now we see her talking about her own mother, but Brian is talking about her own mother, her own relationship. You can see a little bit the actress, I say the actress, the mother is tearing up. Brian is tearing up. And then Danielle too is trying to lean into that motherly affection. The, you can see Danielle grew up with her father. The reason, you could remember the conversation she had with her father. I'm sorry, I'm saying that reason was so deep because I'm feeling it. This stepmother story, Cinderella story, is a very, it's really a powerful story on how you treat your stepchildren, your your children by another. I, I don't want to, it's a personal thing. Okay, so the reason probably he married the Baroness was to bring her into Danielle's life and teach her how to be a lady, how to be a woman stop all these boyish things or even if you do it do it with some sort of delicacy and bring a different atmosphere you know i'm thinking of this like they said it's the 16th century you were thinking oh a lady's touch to the home so to to now raise danielle in a way that is not even in line with what the father had the vision is so cruel because you can see this is she treats her daughters they dress well they have their hair brushed they, she knows what to do she knows what then you 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 attack her and say oh you've always had masculine features like your eye your father why say that one moment you you're you're causing danielle's heart to open up on to you in love in care in 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 in, a, in an emotional she's she's leaning into you you could see Danielle's eyes were like, are you going to say something kind to me? Are you going to be the mother? I, I really want to please you. You can see she's a, she's trying to please her, the Baroness. And the next thing we see is the Baroness is telling her, oh, your masculine features, shutting her down again emotionally. Why? So um, that moment, I, I can also see the Baroness is wrestling, wrestling with telling Danielle something kind, wrestling with telling Danielle something that will take her off. Maybe she's afraid of complimenting this girl so much because she will blossom. Maybe she even probably truly sees Danielle you know need for love and affection in in herself yes because she probably had that need from her own mother and she's like no 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 i'm going to treat you the way my mother i don't know what goes on in the mind of people if you've had a terrible experience with your parents you already know the red flags you know what not to do to do that same thing just shows that my goodness your heart must be hardened so another thing we want is i want to discuss is the prince and his own parents um this is almost like first generation causing sex, first generation pain causing another generation pain. That thing he said to his mother, the queen, about, oh, at least let someone in this family, you know, something for a happy marriage. You could see the mother's fate really 
changed when he said that to, to both of them because it might have been a marriage of convenience. Maybe now they love each other or they've learned to love each other, but it's, it seems that the son has inside Jesus that, oh, you guys didn't love each other from the very beginning. And you know the pain of marrying someone you didn't love at first and you want to pass it on to me. But probably they are seeing it from the other angle that you can learn to love someone. But, you know, Henry is like, no, 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 no. I don't want to learn to love anybody. I want it to be love at first sight. I also love how Danielle is bringing something to Henry's life that he hasn't seen before. Um, the 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 storyline in the books didn't really make the prince seem like an arrogant person, right? But this reality that he attached to it is showing that both of them are in their ways flawed because the king, prince also told her, listen, you are doing this and then you're doing this to yourself and then she's coming back and you're doing it and you're doing this and there is a meeting of minds and hearts i love the way she smiles i love the way he smiles with her. i love that he's tender and you see when jacqueline said, said that he had released all the slaves so it shows you that danielle is actually saying something into the prince's life that is making him better that is making him think he's going back to the drawing board and say oh how can i be a better prince how can i be a better because he's trying to impress her but he sees oh i can do this i can alter things maybe he's always been the prince who's been oblivious to his responsibility as we can see how he's handling this whole thing with marrying the person his father wants him to marry he's probably been spoon fed do this do that do this but now step into the role and like oh I saw a girl who went to take her servant and something, something. Me, the prince of the whole France, I should be able to do something worthwhile for my people, make their lives better so that they look at me and they're like, oh, we love our prince. Not just, you know, by by words, but they really mean it. Really, you know what I mean by when something is eye service, you're just doing it because you want to impress the person. No, they really mean it. He wants to earn the position in which he is, I love that. I, I, I love that about um, their relationship. You can see the change. Um, what I would, you know, I just by the side, I think when someone has shown you who they are repeatedly, constantly over the years, and this is addressing Danielle, I don't know why she is still letting the stepmother do this thing to her over and over and over again. As the, the introduction that Danielle had to the woman is the same introduction the woman had. They met each other at the same time and they lost the dad. You understand what I mean? But the woman still has the recluse of her two daughters. Danielle has lost every, her family member, her only surviving family member. So I think that what that's what made her latch on to this woman that her father brought so fiercely because she's thinking in her mind that daddy chose you daddy must have felt that you would be a good mommy for me but if she hasn't shown you that love that care i don't know where the fairy godmother is going to be thrown in or if i don't think it is because they are making it a realistic like the conversation we had from the beginning the majesty talking to the green brothers we can see that something was tilted the way it was written she had to call them in and say, you're writing it like this kind of fairy tale, but let me tell you the real story. And then she brought out the shoe. Remember, so it's been watered into the fairy tale that we know. And this is the scene that they're telling us. This is how it really happened. What I'm saying is that if Danielle has never received love from the Baroness, what is she still holding on to? What is she still holding on to? Like this house is her house. I don't know how it would have been difficult, you know, when you're so subservient that you don't even know what your strength is, your own power. This is her house. This is her father's house. And she is the she's the first seed of her father. She's the child of her father. This is a woman he married. So how did she dominate everything? It's fear. It's fear and the desire to please her. Because if Danielle just realizes that, listen, as a matter of fact, you're the one, get out. You do not bear, you, you're not his blood. You're not my father's blood. You're in your two daughters. I am the one who's his blood. I am the one who should be in charge. I'm guessing that the movie is making, we're seeing Danielle as an older person. She might have been 14. Maybe she just full blood, bodied or 16. You know what I mean? So she's totally still needs a chaperone, someone who can stay over the house but if she's already been old enough to walk in and free her servant and say maurice get out i want to you know stand firm 
being weak and sometimes if people don't love you the way you want to be loved just find the strength to move on find the strength to move on don't keep circling the atmosphere of pity and please choose me no 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 i deserve love as intensely as i give it and if you're not going to rise up to the challenge good luck let's not kill each other on this thing let's just no need to die on our swords Let's just enjoy ourselves and move on. That's that's my well. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. For some reason, you know, in the Cinderella, it was a blue head. She had this blue thing across her neck, and I think a blue headband. But I didn't see any. <laughs> There's no blue so far. <laughs> Look, Gustav, it's floating. I don't know why you're so happy it's about. Fun. The prince would be your brother-in-law, and you, Comtesse de Lancre, saw him again, you'd simply... I'd walk right up to him and say, Your Highness, my family is your family. Please, take them away. <laughs> because here's your big chance, he's headed this way. From, uh... The Comtesse de Lancre, that she is staying with a cousin. The, um... Baroness Rodmiller de Ghent. I do know that she is there. Alone. By herself. He's very lonely. Oh my god, good stuff. He likes my work. And he is headed toward my house. Then I suggest you run. Go, girl. <laughs> oh, on, oh, how will she do it? Oh, okay. Oh my God, Gustav says that she's here alone. And dun, dun, dun. I would live here. I would live here in a heartbeat, like big bread and just. Your Highness, what an unexpected though. surprise. A phenomenon, <laughs> which is why I am banned for the monastery, the. You have found my weakness, but I have yet to learn yours. Oh. Well, I should think it was quite obvious. What is your weakness? You? <laughs> I've been so hit. What is your weakness? <laughs> Henry. Please, I can't. I can't raise my fan. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't find my fan, you guys. I'm so hot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I brought you something that will brighten up your day. What is that? Oh, you vicious, vicious man. It is. What did he say? What did he say? I guess it's because when I was young, my father would stay up late and read to me. He died when I was eight. Utopia was the last book he brought home. I would rather hear his voice again than any sound in the world. What's the problem? Is it, what happens with the prince? Not one tutor ever demonstrated the passion you have shown me in the last two days. You have more conviction and one memory than I have in my entire being. Your Highness, if there is anything I have said or done... Please. I have to say here's an explanation of the case, Margaret. It's now or never. Majesty, but you seem to have dropped this on your way out. It is a rare person indeed who would return such a valuable keepsake. We shall have a chat tomorrow, you and I. Um, bring your mother. And we shall continue on foot. But it's half a day's walk. Marguerite does is for all of us, my dear. We are counting on you to help her get ready. Where is that girl? Probably off catching rabbits with her teeth. Oh, begging your pardon, my lady, but that gilded mirror in your bedchamber, did you move it? Of course not. Why? It's also missing. Then it too shall come out of your pay. Okay, so that suspicious woman. Good thing I didn't mention the tapestries. Oh no, that is that is very fishy. Missing things. Who's stealing then? Are you sure she's not the one? 
The same way she. I would know the way to my own castle. Why is it men? It's never her, stop probably. It's definitely her. Pause, 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 pause. Let's think about it. Missing things. The last time she said, "Look at, look at what happened." Let's, let's. The Maurice, Maurice, when Maurice was sold to the to go to the Americas, when he get got back, remember what he said at the table when they were eating? Something to pay off your debt, but he cautioned himself and he said to pay off my debt. Do you understand? So she sold a whole human being to pay off. Maybe she's owing somebody. Who else would she be owing? Le Poo. Le Poo Poo man. That man who was like something about. That looks like prunes. You know what he said? She said prunes to him. Right. So think about it. Then the this thing is missing, missing, missing. She must be using the money. Where else? Where else? She's, she's trying to push her daughters into high society probably they need new clothes to attend all these things because they can't be wearing the old dresses they have to look presentable to the prince they don't have so she's uh, she's bribing that man who is busy that one this she's bribing that one who else is she doing she's if you will soon see that it's the baroness herself that is stealing the French in the house play. And I still can't believe that I'm down here while you're up there. Is there anything you don't do? Fly. Okay. <laughs> oh. 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 You will give me back my dress, sir. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let her go. Your quarrel is with me. And since you deprive me of my escort, I demand a horse as well. Me lady, you may have anything you can carry. On my honor as a gypsy, whatever you can carry. <laughs> oh, she took him. That is so romantic. She took him. Oh, she's like, I'm not going to leave him behind. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Please come back. I'll give you a hope. Want to be informed the minute she gets home. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Never. My next choice. I have no desire to be king. Ooh. To never be seen as who you are, but what you are. You have no idea how insufferable that is. You have been born to privilege, and with that comes specific obligations. It is your mouth that has me hypnotized. <laughs> in my life, you know, back there, in the woods. A girl does what she can, sire. Henry. She said that. Henry, are they gonna kiss again? Oh my gosh. Whose jacket are you wearing? Do you know the ruins of Donbois? Yes. I often go there too. Off with his head. Mm. With the largest library on the continent where anyone can study no matter their station. <gasps> are you ill? No, I got lost. I don't believe you. Okay. You're hiding something from me. I can feel it. I demand to know what it is. Ooh. Why don't you tell me so I can get back to sleep? What about our breakfast? You have two hands. Make it yourself. Okay, girl. Okay. Look who's talking. Uh -huh. Me? <laughs> Boil water? <laughs> she said that very soon you'll be asking me to do this. Oh, look who finally decided to grace us with her presence. Uh, hunt royalty like some sport, it's disgusting. You're just jealous. Give me my dress. These are my mother's. Oh, they're your mother's. Yes. And she's dead. Oh my god, bitch. Yes! Yes! I am going to rip you! 
Yes. 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 Y'all screaming. Oh, get her, please. Get her quickly. Danielle, you better catch this girl. Catch this girl for me, please. Look at your mother's shoes. Listen, if you burn that book, I'll crush your hair in your sleep. Threaten her. Tell her that. Tell her that if you... I'll cut your hair in your sleep. You wake up bald. You tell me how you go to the the ball. Ah, oh my no, god. No, no. No. You don't trust anybody like that. She threw it in eventually. She threw it in. First with breakfast. And then that horrid display downstairs. She should not have said that about your mother. Thank you. You saved that baby from a runaway horse. It was a maternal instinct, Majesty. Yes. He was gone all day yesterday and did not return until dawn. Apparently, she's staying with a cousin. But nobody seems to know who. Well, I was beginning to think she was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Our cousin. <laughs> Whom you like to call Cinderella? <laughs> Are you all right? If you let her marry your son after that... a bee. That's how your grandchildren will be screaming all around the house. You better have her leave the premises the madness might be contagious oh my god the the baroness is smart very smart i'm telling you she just put two and two together of course it's very easy that's her generation she would know Hello. mother is there is something I must tell you. And I you. There is much to say. Tell him, tell him Come. who you are. Oh, tell him, don't break up with him. Just tell him that you... You're not a servant, I if you think to about it. That she didn't boy. really lie. The Nicole is her mom. I've measured my life by these trees. Starting here. You're not making this easy. I used to think that if I, if I cared about anything, I would have to care about everything. It wasn't me. <laughs> Why did you have to be so wonderful? What was it you wanted to tell me? Oh, Girl, just say it. Say it. They never do. They never do. They wait until... Believe that. Last night was the happiest night of... Oh, gosh. What? What is it? Are we climaxing? Oh, girls, make. What is going on? I must go. You're Nicole. feeling it too much. <laughs> She's in pain and pleasure. It's pain and pleasure, and it came out as a. <laughs> I'm, so... I, I'm sorry to be making it so light, but I get what is happening. She's like, oh my god, this is too good to be true. How do I escape? And it came out as a. <laughs> X. Hmm. What bothers you more, stepmother, that I am common or that I am competition? Where is the dress, Danielle? They were in my room this morning and now they're gone. You hid them, I know it. Where are the candlesticks and the hmm. tapestries and the silver? Perhaps the dress is with them. You'll produce that gown? I would rather die a thousand deaths than to see my mother's dress on that spoiled, selfish cow! Surprise, we're going to town first thing in the morning. Mother. Engaged? To a Belgian? That's impossible. There has to be some mistake. Mm -hmm. She was traveling by boat oh, this afternoon. Oh. Would you have listened? Of course not. I would have. There I was, pouring my royal heart out, and she was simply trying to bid me farewell. Any choice mm -hmm. is better than Spain. I, I cannot. 
Besides, my master has me working tonight. Then go to Da Vinci. For once in your life, man, be bold. For once in your life. For once in your life, be bold. Look at how beautiful the fireworks are. Look at the lie the Baroness said that she's angry. Because he that is the only way to have to ward away the prince's attention towards her. She belongs to another and she's gone off to get married. Meanwhile, you've locked her up in the thing. get the costume because I was like why are you throwing the rock on the yeah that's not da Vinci Signor Da Vinci Stop it. Yes I shall go down in history as the man who opened the door it's Danielle du Barbarac and I am but a servant yes and I'm the bastard son of a peasant how can I and face so him well because he deserves to hear the truth from the one he loves Oh, come on, no time to waste. Louise, get the dress. I understand you wanted to see me. Yes, Father, I, I did. Perhaps it was unfair of me to put so much pressure on you as I did. Well, I, I, I just wanted to say that this... to the final reveal towards the end. She looks like her mother. Come, let us go and see these paintings of yours. Oh, Cocos bombs, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh the princess is a sister. Look at this one, she's already found one. Honored guests, but also this to tell you of a long awaited decision. Hmm. Prince Henry to. Then you're not engaged. No, I'm not. My guess would be the Comtesse de Lancre. Right. Come, there's someone I want you to meet. Oh, I'm Whatever it is, my answer is yes. What are you doing? Making you a princess. A servant, Henry? Is this some kind of joke? Tell these women who you are. Tell them. Bow before oh, royalty, you insolent fraud. My God, it can't be true. Nicole de Lancre was my mother. I am what she says. You're not. You're not, girl. Am I understanding this thing wrong? What's happening? She's not a servant. Her yeah, dad cool. is the... Well, someone had better! First, you're engaged. Henry, please. Address me so informal, madam. I am a prince of France. I'm, no, honestly, I'm confused. She's not a servant. She's not a servant. Why, why, why are we hung up on this word? And if her mom was a contest, what have you done? Does the title I pass been down to, to privilege? And with that, have you any idea what that girl went through to get here tonight? She lied to me. She came to tell you the truth, and you fed her to the wolves. What do you know? She's your match, Henry. I will not yield. Mm. Useless. You will not yield. <laughs> okay. Then you don't deserve her. Exactly. Exactly, sir. You don't. You will not yield. Take your puffed upness and go and find love. Take it. Take it. 
your big chest yeah take it with the padding of what, what fabric is that your thing is is made of on to the child or she doesn't know her own status does she know the meaning of contest if your mom is a king you, queen you're a princess i have now. it on good authority isn't that how it was that before your rather embarrassing debut the prince was about to choose marguerite to be his bride one minute they're spouting sonnets and the next you're back to being the hired help let me pass you've brought this on yourself you know i have work to do you've won Go, move into your palace, and leave us be- Is that what I am? Your problem? I have done everything you've ever asked me to do, and still you denied me the only thing I ever wanted. Yes. Was yes. there a time, even in its smallest measurement, that you loved me at all? Hey. How can anyone love a pebble in their shoe? Jesus. Wow. Don't give her your tears, Danielle. Please, don't. Don't annoy me, please. Don't give it to her. Come and see. It's back. All of it. What's the all of it? If you tell me it's the, 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 the your, I don't know, tapestry, whatever, whatever. It's back. Thank what you. is back? You. This back Take that first, chair. So make sure you don't break anything. Le Pou. Ah, Monsieur Le Pou. The right on time. Le it's all here, Baroness, right down to the very oh, last candlestick. I knew it. My father's the book. candlestick. Thank you, Monsieur. This means the world to us. I'm a businessman, Danielle, not a philanthropist. I don't understand. I couldn't very well have you around distracting the prince, now could I? <gasps> no! No! the painting this was the painting that was in the um the queen's house when the grim brother did they, they come huh? stupid marguerite he's not going to marry the girl too is crying she doesn't want to marry you she doesn't want to marry you <laughs> He's probably in love with someone else too. Look at him. <laughs> everybody's. Everybody's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> me, me to Maybe that's her, her boyfriend. Who knows? Who was that man alone that was crying? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wants to make noise in the church. She's already. Oh. Oh, no, never, never. Look at her. <laughs> look at her. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Stupid people. Oh my goodness! Right there in church, girl. Your father will. Oh my God! That was funny. So what are you packing in your loins? What is going on there? I <laughs> think like that is quite... Danielle. But she has been sold, sire. Sold? A doom. Pierre Lepure, your highness. Just after the mask. Tell no one we have spoken. Oh, I do so hate to see you and I. You belong to me now. I belong to no one. I had a horse like you once, magnificent creature, stubborn, just like you. Please. Please. Spirit. Oh. That Kier, I swear on his grave, I will slit you from navel. Look at his teeth. You want to kiss me with those? Hey, 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 hey. Please spare me. Oh. 
Yes. Your freedom. Okay. Oh, Prince, she saved herself. He didn't have to come. See? See? She's out. Slit you from navel to nose. Hello. Hello. A commoner. Actually, I came to beg your forgiveness. Please, Danielle. The part where you said my name. She is my match in every way. Would be my wife. Serves me right for choosing a foreigner over your... sister. His Supreme Majesty King Francis requests an audience with the Baroness Rodmilla de Ghent and her daughters immediately. Yes, wear your best outfits. Oh, they know. Oh, they know. Of course, of course. Go there. Mm. See ya. Isn't that the same thing you wore from when you were being brought into Cinderella's house, Danielle's house? You don't have any new fashions? Your headband. Look at her. Did you or did you not lie to Her Majesty the Queen of France? Oh, trial. <laughs> trial on entry. For they may be your last. What did we lie? Oh, Practically anything, for the love of a daughter, your majesties. Mother, what have you done? Your majesty, like you, I'm just a victim. Jacqueline, darling, I'd hate to think you had anything to do with this. Of course not, mother. I'm only here for the food. <laughs> Baroness de Ghent, you are forthwith stripped of your title. And you and your horrible daughter are to be shipped to the Americas on the first available boat. Unless by some miracle, someone here will speak for you. You see that lady in the dress with the buttons? I've seen her before. Drawn I will speak for her. her. She is, after all, my stepmother. Ooh. I don't believe you've met my wife. But you, I am quite certain, will think about me every single day for the rest of your life. Is that you show her the same courtesy that she has bestowed upon me. Which is what? What does that mean? <laughs> Doing the laundry. <laughs> the same. You can start on the napkins and move those... Over there, Mark Reed. Me that way. I am of noble blood, and you are getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> now get to work. Leonardo, it's wonderful. Think of it as a belief. I just can't get over it. That's all, Your Highness. <laughs> yes, well, royalty or not, I can. And we, princess, are supposed to live happily ever after. Says who? By then, the truth of the romance had been reduced to a simple fairy tale. And while Cinderella and her prince did live happily ever after, the point, gentlemen, is that they lived. Ooh, Cinderella and her this was so good this was well done costume design set design storyline acting i've never seen that actor before oh but my goodness how gorgeous he is he the prince henry fantastic oh let me play let me see what his real name is prince harry degree scott degree scott listen i i just love oh is it dore let me know how to pronounce that word because there's no h right so i think the G is not silent. So let me know. 
And even the stepmother, she was, she played her witchcraft to the tea. Like she was incredible. Everything was incredible. It was so romantic. It was, it was. Every line, every line, every line, every line. My favorite part was where he told her like, I thought you'd know. He said, I'm I mean, yet to find out what your weakness is. And I think I thought it was. That part just kills me. That part just kills me completely. And the, another, the other part I really like, although it was Marguerite's line, was that you're welcome to look. Like, I am going around now. I'm like, you're welcome to look. You're welcome to look. <laughs> it tickles. I loved it. I loved it. Thank you guys for voting for this. I had a blast. On to the next, my darling. And listen, spread love, spread kindness. It take, it's so easy to be happy. Please try. Don't let anyone bring you down. What is the moral of this story? The moral of this story is that you should give people a chance. You should give people a chance. Even people you don't think deserve it, give it, try. Try and give it to them. He looked down on, on her so quickly. So quickly. Love love gives you, gives you a fighting chance. She loved him and she was true to her love. And she tried her best. She saw him in the best, like when she made up her mind to start loving him, she always saw him in the best light and tried to correct him. But when the reverse, he didn't give it to her and she forgave him for that, right? Love tries to see you in the best light. So try, try seeing you, the ones you love in the best light, even when they don't deserve it. And give them a chance to be free. Give them a chance to be free. I remember reading something like when you love something, don't hold on to tight. Let it just go. If it comes back to you, it comes back to you. And then you move on. People hold on to this. I remember talking to this. If someone does this to me, I can never forgive. I can never forgive. I can never forgive. And the older I get, I just like, what can't I forgive? Like they haven't killed me. They haven't killed the one. So let's all move on. If it's not death, let's just move on. Forgive and move on. And have fun and share your life, share your stories, help people, you know, share your time. This was just, uh, I just feel happy. Thank you. On to the next.